What's up guys, 223 Frank the Tank here, and I'm going to be showing you guys a game called VTOL VR. I just got my Rift test the other night, and uh, picked this game up, played a little bit already, and uh, it's an absolute blast. So I'm just going to be messing around today. I just took a shower and my head says all fogging up, but <laughs> you guys won't see that, luckily for you. So we'll do a free flight, and I'm just going to show you around some flying maybe drop a couple bombs and stuff so let me I was messing around earlier before work keep that, keep that da, da, da. and man this game is fun as hell so far like it's so well done everything is just well done about this game from what I've played so far and you know it's still Still an early access game. It's not too old from what I've seen. You can pick it up for $29.99 on the Steam store. And I'd say it's worth it. Let's put a TGP in honor of the DCS Hornets who finally got the targeting pod. <laughs> who were relying on us, Tomcat guys, with our lantern pod. They were relying on us to drop GBUs or the Harriers. The Harriers had the pod as well. But now, congratulations, horny boys, you've got your own pod. You don't need us anymore, we can retire. Just kidding. Let's check this out. Isn't this so cool? You've just got everything next to you. Kind of just put everything on here. And it shows all of your flight costs, trust weight ratio, mass, all that good stuff. So this is the FA-26B. It's supposed to be a mixture of an F-22, an F-18, an F-15, and... Well, I mean, it's a made-up plane, but it's got a lot of cues for a bunch of real planes. Pretty cool. So, we'll just take some, some aim there. We don't have really anything to shoot them at, but... Just launch, and then we come to this cool screen. Recenter my seat a little bit better. Perfect. Grab your helmet. I love the little pop, little... Alright, wow, it's really foggy in here for me. <laughs> so, really difficult to see, but we'll make do. So, first thing I do, turn on the main battery. Oops, I hit the desk. APU. Maybe I got a little bit too close to my desk. Yeah. Hood. Helmet. Oh my god. Careful. Engine one. Engine two. Wait for him to fire up. Yep. Put a little cover. Turn off the APU. Put a little cover for it. Iron bridge. Boom. I don't really need this right now. Turn on my lights. Instruments. Those lights. Uh, don't need any of this. Put my flaps all the way down. Turn on your MFDs. No, these are MFDs. Those are little screens for the sun. Wow, this is really, really, really foggy. I shouldn't have showered and immediately gone into VR. That was a bad idea. There's our master arm, seat adjustments, stick, which is really cool. You grab it using your VR hands. So I can't, really, I can't, I can't use my whole task with this game, but it's okay because the stick is really well done. Turn on a radar. Boop. Everything is blurry. I, I imagine that's what it's like for people who wear glasses. Cause I, I don't wear glasses. I know it's an odd flex, but oh, this is. Ooh. Let me have to try and readjust my view from here. Yes! Okay, we're good. Thank God. Alright. There's a navigation map. Comms. 
ATC takeoff. Copy. Taxi to runway two zero. zero. It shows you on the map where to go to. So really useful, really cool stuff. Take off the parking brake, brake lock. Good. Get going. Your trigger on the left hand is the brake. Air brake once you're in the air. On this route, we can look at ourselves. Hello. Hi. Goodbye. <laughs> Check it out, dude. This is so cool. Technology is cool, man. Can't believe it. Alright, so here's our runway. That's where planes take off. Sometimes the space shuttle lands. Just kidding, it's too short for that. Oh, I thank you, sir. Let's train out a little bit better. And then, yeet into an afterburner. Hit a dab. Hold on to this thing if you want to. Just wait. I can't see any of my numbers. I'm have to look at this one because I, I can't see the hot. Like my, my VR headset is so foggy because I took a shower. Let me just pull back. Put your gears up. Pull those flaps up. Hell yeah, boy, we did it. Well, I don't have to burn it. That's unnecessary. So here we go. So then we have your thumbsticks, which control your sensor of interest. So if you need to use a radar, boom, you can slew your radar. Really useful. Jahamakas is at work right now. They're showing me stuff right here. Some of the cool things the Hornets get in DCS that the F-14 doesn't have. I'm trying to fly a dinosaur on a plane, but I don't care because I'm faster. And Herthper wins fights. Just kidding. Not really. Don't, don't take my word for that, please. So, yeah. Okay, your night vision, probably shouldn't do that, you'll blind yourself. I'm just kind of cruising right now. Gaining some altitude slowly. We're a little bit heavy, but nothing, nothing too bad. This is like, this kind of just small introduction map. I'm gonna do some uh, targeting pod stuff, show you guys how that works, it's pretty, pretty neat. So, we don't really need the radar, we know there's no targets, so we'll go into our equipment. Wow, I, okay, I grabbed four, four GBU-12s. Sweet. Go into config. Laser. Dumb. Or laser. Dumb. Laser. No, we got a target pod, so we gotta use laser. So, we're configuring already. Go into arming mode. Pop this sucker up. And then here, we don't really need this right now because we're not doing GPS bombs, we're doing target pod bombs. Yeah, turn on that sucker. Go into color mode because why not? We'll put altitude hold. And then here, sensor of interest, bingo. And then you can kind of see using your helmet, your helmet sensors, where you're slewing your target pod. So pretty cool, pretty useful. Slow down a little bit. Switch to my GBU 12s. Autopilot off. I'm sure this is a little too close right now, but I'm sure I can probably get it. Bombs away. Zoom in on that. to this mountain over here so we're gonna let me guess some altitude before I go into burners man. Autopilot off. Let's hit a road. Let's hit that fork in the road up ahead. Slow down a little bit. Having J Jahamakas is so useful. Can set your GPS and everything. It's really cool. The capabilities that this has. Normally, you won't be dropping, you know, laser guided bombs from this low, but it, it doesn't really matter, honestly. Some past gimbal limit. 
but it should save where that target point is at. Yeah, I don't remember. Ooh, feeling a little crazy, a little cuckoo. To be fair, I don't really see shit. I'm, I'm kind of like Velma when she doesn't have her glasses on. Scooby Doo. Can't see Jack. I don't know if I'm going up, down. So, I already have a drop cue. We'll just kind of hover around here. This time we'll watch the, the bomb head from the low screen. Oh, slew that a little bit. So we can hit the floor. Alright, from the screen. I promise we'll watch from the screen. Oh my god, I'm scratching my ear and you can see my VR hand scratching the pilot's ear. That's hilarious. I, I, I honestly thought it was my own shadow. That's how much VR fools you. So let's use your helmet. Sweet. Oh, let me zoom out. And slew ourselves over to the city entrance. Look at how efficient that is. We're going to hit this rooftop over here. So now we're going to fly over to it. There's our drop cue. Give us a little bit more throttle. Autopilot off. Okay. Less throttle down. Gonna break out this rooftop party over here because the mayor called. He said no parties on my rooftops. So we're breaking up this party over here. If it hits the rooftop. If not, then well, whatever. <laughs> I don't really. I don't give a shit what the mayor said. Okay, yeah, the rooftop party got hit. They're all dead. Rest in peace. That's kind of fucked. All right. Full afterburn. Why not? Autopilot. Awesome maneuvers. Well, I'm completely blind. I can't see anything, but it's all right. Let's hit him again. There's another one out. So cool, dude. I've been also playing around with uh, GPS guided munitions. Pretty cool, too. I'll do one more at this road over here. I just really don't like that road. It's stupid and it's long for no reason, and Autopilot there's too off. much traffic, so we're gonna blow it up. dropped all of them already. Oh yeah, I did. Fucking stupid. Alright. So, we're gonna turn off this. Go to... Da -da -da. Radar. We're not gonna use it. Oh man, we're going fast. I'm gonna pull out the brakes. I know what I'm doing, don't worry. <laughs> okay, good. That aged well. That would have sucked if I said I knew what I was doing and then I immediately smashed into a, into a building or something. So, um, we're going to end this here with a tunnel run. I saw a tunnel up ahead. Yep, there it is. Let's pull into it. Oh, this is a bad approach. And I'm kind of blind too, so. Well, I'm not blind, but the headset is blind right now. Yeah, yeah, no shit, buddy. Woo -hoo! Yeah. Acting like we're Maverick. <laughs> and, uh, oh, yeah. Get fired. 
Okay, court martial, baby. And I'll stall out. Because we got no airspeed at all. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, but. Uh, uh, okay, alright, we're good. Guns only. I'm sure, this stupid mountain is big and ugly and deserves to get shot at. Just kidding. Do not shoot mountains in anger, please. Lots of hikers. Don't hit the mountain. Okay, we're good. Okay. Well, can't really shoot these missiles dry for some reason. Maybe if I go into foresight mode. Oh, a little close for comfort. Yeah. Anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video of me messing around in VTOL VR because it's really awesome and a cool game. And uh, <coughs> yeah, like and subscribe. Hell yeah, brother. And I'll uh, see you on the next video.